Hey everyone, it is Gabe and I'm here to tell you about the latest frame release. Or finally, as you can see, we've got our webcam to avatar face mapping, which is pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, it's good fun. We'll be tweaking it um, in the days and weeks ahead to make it even better, but it's pretty snappy. You can use it with Ready Player Me avatars and um, yeah, just have at it. It's a button here in the settings menu. You'll see it over here. Okay, but let's get into the rest of the updates. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm gonna start with a new asset type. If you click the plus button and you go to web content, you'll see a new one here called web embed. And what this lets you do is actually embed an iframe in the 3D space. Now, this isn't a synchronized asset. Users can interact with these on their own and you won't see what other users are doing with them. So this is actually a great way to embed forms or you know, other kinds of interactive content uh, that users need to actually you know, be able to scroll and input, but not be able to see what other people are doing with it. So it's pretty cool. It only works on desktop for now, but it's a great way to bring web content into the space. And only sites that can be put in iframes will work with this. Not every website lets itself do that, but many of them do. Okay, uh, in addition to that, looking at the list here, we've got uh, some nice improvements to our NPCs, our non-player characters, these AI bots. And the really good one is that you can upload files. Well, there are two really good ones. One is that you can upload files to them now to train them on those files and then when you ask the NPC questions it'll try to use information from those files in its response it kind of trains them up on those files pretty cool you can also now choose to set a ready player me avatar as the visual representation for your NPC and again we're really just getting started with these NPCs these AI bots there's a lot more coming here all right I'm gonna to go to one of the new environments. We've got a new support center because some of you who use the support center needed a lot more room. So we've made a really beefy, just much just bigger support center, which is great. But you'll notice that if you just double click on a chair now, it will seat you there. And you don't need to click the seat icon to move away from a chair anymore. You can just walk away from it. And that's a lot easier, we think. If you still wanna use that seat icon, you can. We might be removing it later now that it's just so easy to get where you want. But in any case, easy peasy, double click on a chair to sit on it, and you can just move away to get off of it. We did some small improvements to our text area asset. So if you go to text and then text area, and you are in edit mode, you'll see that you can now upload a header image to your text area. And you can also add uh, banner text. Um, so pretty cool stuff. And this is just scrollable. We spruced up the visuals of it a little bit. So just helping you get richer content on these text areas, which is pretty handy. Okay, on the topic of images though, you have to see this. Now this is certainly experimental. I just brought in an image. This is the Babylon JS logo. Uh, if you go to edit mode, you have to be on a paid frame for this. You'll see a new button here for AI image editor. This is a full fledged AI image editor right here in frame. And it's very good. So you can reimagine the image entirely. You can draw, you can select areas of it and put in a prompt to replace certain areas. You can recolor it, you can restore it. You can even do your own sketch to image stuff. There's its new version of the Babylon logo. I wouldn't recommend changing though, uh, Babylon team. So pr pretty cool stuff and it's still experimental, but we're gonna be improving this quite a bit. Okay, okay. Yeah, she doesn't like the new logo either. There you go. Let me close that out. Okay, lightning round through some other improvements. There's a new quick effect. If you go to the emoji, click on effects, you'll see balloons there now, which are a very fun celebratory effect uh, for everyone to see. 
We've made performance improvements so that large scale interactions in frame go a lot smoother. We've got a 1500 person meeting happening in frame next week. We think it's gonna go great because of these improvements. We have changed where the text chat appears. So now when you click on text chat, the text chat appears at the bottom left, but it is resizable. You can make it like a this little sidebar. You can make it small and it will save your preference. So if you make it really big and you refresh, it'll be really big the next time that you open it up. Okay, that is, those are some of the big ones. There were also a lot of tiny ones, but that, those are the meaty ones. We hope you enjoy, and we have another really great update coming in just a couple weeks. Alrighty, bye.